This is All India Radio Shalong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Nagaland government will impose a two-week lockdown-like restrictions from the 30th of this month to 14th of May in view of the surge of COVID cases and to break the chain of transmission. The decision was taken during a cabinet meeting held yesterday. New consol- consolidated guidelines will be issued tomorrow. State spokesperson and advisor M. Kikon said that all schools, colleges, hostels and vocational training institutes will remain closed. However, online classes are permitted to continue. Besides, cinema halls, theatres, sports complexes and similar other places will also be closed. Social gatherings, political, religious places will be allowed outside the containment zones with 30% capacity by strictly adhering to all the SOPs. Movements of goods will be allowed after proper medical screening. Any inbound traveller or returnee will be permitted to enter the state through designated entry points if they produce a negative RT-PCR or TrueNAT or CBNAT test report for COVID-19 with the test done not earlier than 72 hours prior to entering the state. People found without wearing face masks in public places will be fined 200 rupees. A major earthquake jolted various states in the northeast today morning at 7.51 a.m. According to the National Center for Seismology, the earthquake measured around 6.7 on the Richter scale and had its epicenter 38 km of Thespur in Assam. People came out of their homes in panic and some buildings in Assam were reported to have developed cracks. The tremors were felt across Assam, North Bengal and the northeast. In Meghalaya, four COVID-related deaths were reported yesterday, three from East Kasi Hills District and one from South Garo Hills District, taking the total deaths to 165. The state also confirmed 147 new COVID-19 positive cases, including 90 cases from East Kasi Hills, taking the total active cases to 1,456. The state also recorded 90 recoveries, tallying the total recovered cases to 14,650. Till date, the total confirmed cases is 16,271. So far, 2,42,058 doses of COVID vaccine have been administered, out of which 1,86,919 people were administered with the first dose and 55,139 people with the second dose. Nagaland reported 207 new COVID-19 positive cases yesterday, the single highest day spike reported this year in the state. The state also reported one COVID death in Dimapur. Health and Family Welfare Minister S.P. Pom in a tweet said 177 cases were reported from Dimapur. Of the new cases, 112 were from the returnees or travellers. In addition, 16 patients have recovered from the infection. With this, the total recovered cases have reached 12,151. Presently, the state has a total of 13,445 cases and 874 active cases. So far, the state has registered 89 COVID-19 deaths. In Assam, educational institutes have been shut down in several districts for 15 days due to rise in COVID cases. This decision was taken following order issued by the Assam government to close all educational institutes in those districts where total cases exceeded 300. However, online classes will continue. Meanwhile, state government has set up a control room for the people of Assam working in other states. The number of the control room is 8099002218 and email address grievance.migrant at gmail.com. Chief Minister Sarbanan Sonowal reviewed the COVID situation of several lower Assam districts at Gualpara. Assam has recorded 3,132 cases yesterday, while 18 persons succumbed to COVID yesterday. The Assam government has imposed a night curfew across the state from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. with immediate effect. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh yesterday held a video conference with Deputy Commissioners of different districts on the COVID-19 situation. The meeting came amid recent spike in coronavirus cases in the state. During the conference, the Chief Minister directed the Deputy Commissioners to expedite information of COVID awareness come enforcement committees of different assembly constituencies and to reactivate COVID care centres at the earliest. He also stressed on the need to cross-check COVID negative reports for those entering the state and to intensify vaccination and penalise the violators of the SOPs stringently. 
And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day. Thank you.